Uh, we did a tribute, kind of a rant uh, contest, we said, in, in honor of Adam, who's the best at taking any topic and having an opinion on it. Uh, we gave each other topics and tried to do it and realized how fucking hard it actually is. And I was supremely flattered because I'm a big fan of uh, both you. And, well, thank and then, you. Uh, you guys do a great podcast. And, uh, I mean, there's a handful. I mean, think as comedians, whether you say it out loud or you just sort of think it to yourself or you mainly say it to your wife, they're the ones that are funny and then the ones that are eh, kind of yeah. lucky to be here. And it's not all about who's selling out theaters and who's doing three nights at Noodles uh, outside of Denver. It's more about who you know as somebody who's been around for 20 years in this business who actually has the goods and who doesn't. I think I think magicians are that way, too. Yeah. Like, if you talk to a magician and you go, uh, Copperfield, is it, you'll get the, oh, no, he's really a very good technical, like, you'll get yeah, the whatever. Yeah. And comedians are sort of that way. Like, well, we know I think the real ones. Well, magicians, there's the, probably, like, a terminology like, uh, no, he's an illusionist. He's, right. And with comedians, it's like, no, he's a comic. Right. This guy's a comedian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And anyway, I was, uh, I'm fans of both you. Bigger fans now, of course. Or a wi- I guess the opposite of an illusionist would be, no, he's a wizard. <laughs> he's a <laughs> yeah. true wizard. Do you think Actually. there's someone who's like a real magician's magician? Jesus Christ. Yep, <laughs> Jesus Christ. But yeah. uh, sadly, that was it. He was just an incredibly good table magician. <laughs> it, it, he couldn't follow up the... Uh, yeah. I, think that was a, I think that was a Nick Cage movie from about six years ago. <laughs> where he actually, but it's an interesting story. Like, if you actually possessed magic, you could let the world know, but somebody would kill you. Yes. Like, somebody from some s- nutty religious cult would kill you at some point, right? Yeah. Although, I don't know, you'd probably be hard to kill if you actually could shoot fire from your cock or... You know, I don't know what your magical you know, skills I, are, but I'm just saying off the I top of my head. I once thought I was shooting fire from my cock. <laughs> right. But Freshman year in college. Yeah, shot a penicillin wouldn't right it, away. Wouldn't it be better to play it a little closer to your paisley magician's vest mm-hmm. if you, in fact, could do magic? I mean, you, you did possess these Warlockian skills. Instead, you just go to Vegas and freak everyone out. Right, right. with real magic. Whatever right. happened to Doug Henning? Mm. Remember him? Yes. He's an illusionist. He's an illusionist. He was the Brian he had so Boitano much hair of, on the back yeah. of his head. Magic. He was incredibly. He was. He was more seventies. Oh my god! Than England Dan and John Ford Coley. More he like was, Elvis used <gasps> to tell yeah. him, "Take it easy on the jumpsuit." Yeah, like, he it's was a little much. Seventies. Like there's nothing wrong with, with a jumpsuit, but you are fuck. You've jumped the, the rainbow, shark, with, shark with this jumpsuit. Nipple to nipple rainbow. Yeah, yeah. And elephant bell bottoms. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Well, there was there was only two guys that pulled off the jumpsuit, and it was Elvis and Evil Knievel. I know, I know, and and it, like I would argue Pete Townsend is a possible. I I, I would argue that. that too. I would like to to get Doug Henning and and Elvis together and just have them have a. <laughs> I have a jumpsuit too. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, I also have a jumpsuit. If you're done with them potatoes, I'll just take them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's really there's no there's no middle ground on jumpsuits. You're either working the highway, right, an or, inmate, yeah. or you're yeah. the highest paid That's music right. icon of all or time. Or you're a or you're one of the pips. <laughs> yeah, no, it is a rich man, poor man, the jumpsuit. Yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> That's you're either fucking super rich or super yeah. poor. You're by side of the freeway, pissing in a porta potty on yeah. wheels. By the way, you want to talk about upping the loser <laughs> ante when the porta potty <laughs> is on a trailer. <laughs> Pissing and shitting in a porta potty is a, a sign you have not arrived. Yeah. And if it's where you go, like your roofer and that's on the job site, not a good sign. When it is on a trailer, yeah. that's super bad yeah. news. Yeah. And and it's super bad news, too, if you're doing the job with the guys from uh, mm-hmm. uh, 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 Johnny Jackass Knoxville, mm-hmm. with the Jackass yeah. guys. The porta p- uh, actually, in a weird way. The porta potty is its own rich man, poor man. The shitting into a, a thing that is, does not have plumbing to it because it is the side of the freeway. Um, I have 300 hours of community service picking up shit on the side of right. the 405. Or if you ever go to like the Grammys or the Emmys or the Oscars, they will have the luxury like porta potties set up in there because they yeah. can't accommodate a I thousand have a story asses. About- I and then there's the tour bus oh, porta yes. potty, and then if you think about it, there's the Learjet, 
basically. That's not hooked up to any plumbing. Wait, do they become luxurious at some point? I'm saying you have the high, if you're shitting right, into a I'm thing without. Right, but I'm saying the experience yes. of shitting into a Grammy's toilet, is it delightful? No, but you're a star. Okay. Yeah. It's rich man, poor man. I'm not you saying. You can also yeah. shit into a Grammy. They do have. Oh, yeah. They have special yeah. commemorative. You can't report. shit into a Cable Ace Award. Yes. Well, um, the I more try. you know. Yeah. But here's I, a great porta potty <laughs> story of a mm. high end porta potty. Mm. Uh, when Reagan recovered from being uh, shot, mm-hmm. one of the things that he never fully recovered. Mm-hmm. And one of the things that he, this is not a joke, this is true. Uh, one of the things that he suffered from for the rest of his life was he had terrible IBS because mm-hmm. they had to reroute his intestines. Irritable bowel um, syndrome. Yeah, he had terrible uh, irritable bowel syndrome. And part of his Secret Service retinue was a van with a toilet in it. Mm-hmm. Just in case. Mm-hmm. And this is, again, this is all true. The The code was go November. Wow. So when a guy said it's into like a sleeve. Rawhide. rawhide honey wagon. Rawhide, go, go November. November. Yeah. And that. I tried to figure out where they came <laughs> from. Rawhide was his name. Right. Sir, sir was his name. But I was wondering, maybe that's because November is the 11th month and one plus one is two. Like, I'm trying to wow. think. Oh, wow. yeah. Wow. <laughs> you spent a lot of time thinking about that. But I also that. wonder, like, did he pick, did they go in when you were elected and go, okay, you can be Rawhide, Silver Star, Travel like you get to pick your. I think it's like name? Reservoir Dogs. Or do they just give it? I to think you? that guy just shows up and yeah. goes, "You're Mr. Pink. Yeah. You're Mr. Brown. You're President Mr. Black. about your hobo penis. Right, I, I don't right. want to be look for your own good. Yeah. Right. They would never imagine that you're a hobo penis. Yeah. Well, they should yeah. do the same thing. And your with, wife with, is baby raper. They should do it with uh, <laughs> like.